Okay, no fun. I got a leaking coil here. So I'm going to be... And the shutoffs don't shut off all the way. So I've turned off the hot water and today I'm going to be adding new shutoffs and just kind of deciding where I want to put them, whether on the, the back side of the existing shutoffs or the front side here. I'd almost rather put them back there. The uh, coil's leaking inside. I repaired it probably three years ago. We again. did a silver solder job to repair it, and this time I'm going to have it replaced. So, <laughs> three years wasn't bad, but it's time to replace it. I'm going to actually pull these apart and see how much water I've got leaking through. Got the, again, I've got the water turned off and everything, so I guess I can just open the lines and listen. Oh. It's definitely letting some water through. More air. So open the Hydraulic lines that are in the plumbing. Fun, fun, fun today. It's definitely a number of ways I can do this, but these valves really need to be replaced anyway. So I'm going to sand this off real good. sides. Just hoping I have enough room to put the tool in there. This will be a lot easier to sand before I cut it. I'll just get rid of both of those, those lines there. This coil years ago, I pulled the whole thing out and put it under water in a bathtub and blew air through it. I located three different leaks on it and repaired it. I don't want to do that this time. It's time to just replace it. So, what I've got is this pipe cutter. And you can just clamp it on and then tighten it down to where you need it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool tool. Before I do that, I better verify the water turned off here by closing up the pipe. Yeah. 
I've got the bathroom faucet open. There we go. Yep. And the water's off, so that's good. Okay. room here. We have to do it two different ways. So. Just start to tighten the pipe and go around like so. Tighten in the back. little by little. Until it goes through. Which it did. Now we can pop that off. Okay. And we'll sand down that little edge there. That one's all set. There's the top one and This one I think I'm going to cut here also because it can reuse the pipe. Oh, got a little water from there. And a rag I can put in there. Okay. cut on both sides and link through. Open this side and see how much water we got in there. A little bit. Not too bad. Okay. Now we're going to need to cut the pipe on the other side. solder right there. Yeah, a lot of bugger. And no room to pull it.
Okay. Okay, so these shark bites are just push on fittings. And we're on. Slip it on, turn it off there. And on this side, slip it on. And we'll turn it off here. And this side, just if possible, I'm going to connect this. And if not, it doesn't really matter. In fact, it's almost better that I don't connect it. And I'm going to leave it there. Obvious that that's the place to connect it. Okay, so I got these both turned off all the way. I'm gonna see if this worked. Take a peek inside. See, ball valve. Much better than a gate valve. Much, much better. Okay, gonna go turn the water back on and we'll run back up and check it out. Okay, water's back on and no leaks. Only problem is I need to turn these this way. That's okay. Now we'll be able to close the door. Again, this can hook back up here. And this one will be for another mission, but that's not gonna work there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So uh, probably have these replaced anyway and I'll recover my shark bites and put some solder, some regular ones in. It was just temporary so I can get a new coil. Good to go. For now, just need to go turn off the water in the bathroom. Good to go.